Woody, <laughs> Woody, I told you before the show I got recognized mm. in Tarkov, but I didn't tell you the details. So I, I was playing that. today. Early this morning, I was on. I was playing Tarkov, and I, I wanted to snipe. I haven't done that much this wipe, so I got myself a sniper rifle, found myself a nice bush, and I sat in it. And I've been sitting there for maybe 10 minutes just waiting on somebody to cross a big lane. And I heard a voice behind me in the game, and VoIP. And it said, oh, my God, it's you. I'm a huge fan. How could they have known who you are by seeing you? Were you live streaming? Were you? No, I was live streaming to the Discord. You know, I, I was in the fifty dollars patron Discord. By the way, sign up. Uh, make sure you do it by the end of the after the end of the month. If you want a full month, if you were to sign up right now, you get like four days. So jump in there. I've been we've been playing a ton of Tarkov in there, and I need some fucking killers. If you're a fucking Tarkov killer, a fucking Chad Thundercock, I need some assistance, and I'd love it if you join the fifty dollars patron. We'll play together all day. So no, this person says Kyle, I'm a big fan. Um, I can't believe it's you. I'm and kind so, of a big team killer. Are you interested? And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and so, I mean, if you, I, I don't care. You can team killer. <clears throat> take my gear set. I'm rich as fuck. So I turn around. I look, and here this guy is, in the air, 20 feet up, flying. <clears throat> and I'm like, "Yo, what's up, man?" And he's like, "Not much. I'm a huge fan. I'm in the Patreon." And I'm like, "Well, I'm in the fifty dollars Patreon Discord right now, streaming this thing." And he's like, "Well, I'm not in that one. I, I, get, I get PK in early." I'm like, "Oh, okay, okay." So <laughs> you I'm like, an asshole. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, so. so oh, so you're, you're saying he's a hacker? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He is. No, 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 like he does the ten dollars one, so he gets PK in. So, oh, so I was like, oh, um, oh, I <laughs> it sounded like you're like he's not paying fifty bucks. Fuck him. So yeah, it no, no, no. Like I, you I, saying. I interpreted that he was in one that steals the show. But yeah, no. sure. No, he, no. So he says, uh, I, uh, I'm a big fan. I'm like, so you're, you're, you're cheating, huh? And he's like, yeah, <laughs> I love to cheat. <laughs> I'm like, so you can see like everything. Huh? When you look at me, because I've seen these cheats on, uh, on, on YouTube. Landmark showed some off a while back uh, or exposed them, I guess you could say. And you see, he's basically Neo in the fucking Matrix. He sees an, uh, a rectangle around my character, and it's got like a like all my information. He knows my kill death ratio. He knows the entire value of everything that I'm carrying. He's like, he's like, you've got a 3.44 KD, and you're you're carrying 276 thousand rubles worth of gear. And I was <laughs> like, holy shit. He's like, stay right there. And like, he went. Phew! and like disappeared like like a fucking bat out of hell and he came back like three minutes later and he like dropped all this gear at my feet and he's like i took it right out of his hands <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you didn't even kill the guy <laughs> i don't think he even had to kill the guy i think he's able to like just undress him yeah and like, give me that and, like, and the character's just like what did you you took my shit yeah fuck you and took like, your gun first so the rest came easy and, and he threw this gear at my feet, and I was—I felt bad taking it, but I was just like, you know, not gonna piss not him off. It. He's kind of—it was like an SK, you know, it was like an SKS or I mean, something. Smitty's like that. not there. You can take whatever you want. Yeah, it, it was like an SKS or something. I, I didn't like ruin someone's life or anything by taking that. So I took his SKS and told him I didn't like what he was doing. But uh, <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching the show. But if you see an AK out there, <laughs> hey, hey I, I, I I I do. I'm more of a mutant kind of guy next time. If you could, if you could hook me up with a big, big pile of mutants, that'd, that'd be sick. But, uh, but seriously though, uh, don't, don't, don't cheat, dude. Um, the reason he's cheating though, he told me, um, that, that people pay him to like go in and clear out a lobby for him. Like he'll go in and just fucking kill all the players and be like, here you go. Have the map. It's free now. And, uh, and I guess, you know, there's people who need that money or maybe it's just super lucrative. Maybe it's not like pennies. Maybe it's like thousands of dollars. I really don't know. But, is it uh, fun to raid the rogues to like go there and try and clean them out, or is it too hard? Is it? Um, I'm not very good at it. I I take nibbles instead of bites, so I'll go and I'll kill like two and get their stuff and leave. Like killing two is easy. Like two of them in oh, particular. The other ones don't get you when you do that. At night, you can be sneaky enough that you can you can get it done. Hmm. But like what most people do, and the people that are good at it, is they get up on the rocks. They know exactly where they all are. They Boop, 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 shoot them all in the head. The problem is when you go down there, there are roaming teams of AI that you've got to deal with, of rogues. And I, there are levels to the AI difficulty in Tarkov now. And it's not just scav and then like raiders and then boss. Like there's like levels to this shit. Labs raiders, I shit on. I'm not, labs raiders are nothing yeah. right now. They've been tuned down to the point where like I'll style on them. I don't care. Um, I'm, don't get me wrong. I get scared when there's a lot of them or when they push me or something. That's not fair. But but like if I can, if they're at range. But or when they're standing still, I shit on them. Or if there's like one of them pushing you, like, like I'm not yeah. afraid of him. 
But um, like like Gluhar on uh, reserve is overpowered as fuck. Like they got to tune him down. He's he does that's too much. Like like nobody mm -hmm. can fight that. And the rogues, because I'm not good. At, I'm maybe I'm just not good enough, or I'm tried enough but they like insta kill me when i try to kill the roaming ones it's very very difficult i think you need to know some cheeky spots to like lean peek out from to to really like farm them effectively but lighthouse in general is free money um it's just free money every every time we go in you just walk out with a backpack full of the rarest loot you know millions of rubles um the, the last raid of the night that we just did a minute ago before we started the show like one of my friends was like, ah, I'm almost broke. I'm like, it's got a lighthouse. I'm, I, I was like, here, pick that up, pick that up, pick that up. And we made like a million and a half rubles and seven. Larry's minutes. good at that too, like to guide people to loot spots. Yeah. Um, Larry and I have been playing together all day, just about every day. And like, we've got that map dialed in pretty well. Uh, there's it, It's it's free money. It's been a good wipe. It's been a lot of fun. I've been putting way too many hours into it. But uh, I think I'm level 40 or 41, 42, somewhere in there. Got like max traders and like more money than I can ever spend. So it's been good. So with that level, you've done probably two thirds of the tasks. Did they do enough lighthouse tasks to make people play the map? You don't need tasks to make people play that map. Um, and but but the tasks that are there drive you to a very difficult part of the map. It's where the rogues are in the middle of their encampment, and I just didn't do those tasks. I just I just skipped over them. They weren't they weren't required to like. You know, they, they weren't quest locking you from anything else. You could just mm -hmm. avoid those. And so I just have like it, it's okay. just it's not worth throwing the kids away to go. I was asking because I wonder if they made Lighthouse so lucrative to get people to play it, because there's like two ways you can force people on a map. You can either put all the money there or put the tasks there. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's just a, a, a so, so, so much money there. They've got to nerf it at some point because it's just broken. And I've been so lucky that I've got like all the keys for it. And, and multiples of them when those run out. So it's just, it, it's, it's a little bit too much money. I, I, I'm, I'm not losing interest in the game, but like we're, fun, we're already finding like new ways to make it fun. We've been doing like Vietnam cause uh, role play. So we all dress up in uh, Vietnam gear and we only use Vietnam era uh, weaponry and meds. And then <laughs> we go and we look for Charlie. We go, we go in woods and uh, we do our, we use our Vietnam call outs. It quickly devolves into a very racist uh, uh situation goes without saying yeah yeah um but as soon as one of the one of those uh Viet Cong takes somebody out everybody starts starts screaming slurs but uh but yeah no it's been super fun having, having a good time with Tarkov and yeah if you are like a Chad Thundercock murderer slayer out there with like a 10 20 KD or something uh I I, I could I could use a I could 10 use or 20 like KD that. you're asking for a hacker <laughs> at that point I I mean, like, like, like an eight KD is like just a good player, I think, and like that's think, where the top end of good is. Like, I think Landmark might have an eight KD. Ah, uh, but he doesn't try for that. I, it, I guess it doesn't really. KD doesn't matter anyway. Like, like, like I guess yeah. when you really think about it, it depends what your goals are in the game. Yeah, I could get an eight KD if I only shot scavs and avoided a hard, avoided bigger problems. Yeah, it didn't do any tasks. Did you never ran around the the whole of Tarkov wearing blue armor with a dildo up your ass or whatever they try to make yeah. you do? Bunch of nonsense. Yeah. What um what's gonna happen in uh between Russia and Ukraine over there? It looks like we're gonna have like a real life uh Tarkov almost. Uh, I, I've been trying to not to watch the, <laughs> that's, the that's the angle you take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like real life Tarkov. I'm gonna go collect uh, all the chapstick and the, <laughs> <laughs> and the fucking beads or whatever. You do. No, that's what like, like, because that's kind of the premise of Tarkov to to some extent. You know, they're fighting over a disputed uh, piece of. Piece oh, is of, Tarkov uh, supposed to be in Russia? Uh huh. It is. In it is. I thought it was it, like a, no, one of those like unspecified a stand, like a made up. It is a fake town in Russia. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, it's it's sort of like over a territorial dispute, and uh, the, instead of using like real military, they're using like private military groups. So Russia's hired some guys, and the U.S. has hired some guys. You know, like like, like sort of Blackwater esque. And you play as one of those guys. I thought I Tarkov a... was a real place in Russia. So I went on Google Maps, like hunting it down. I wanted to find the mall, Ikea, and, and you can't do that. It's not a real place in Russia. Yeah. Some of the places are like actual real places, though. Like, like some guy made this really cool YouTube video where he visits um, Shoreline. And uh, it's it's photorealistic. It's, it's so it's so good. Oh, like the way they like modeled it. Shoreline I haven't watched is the name of a Tarkov map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes there to like the resort. I want to say that's where it, where it was. I just saw a little bit of it.